with myself Kokika. Today I am here by discussing about the concept of management. There are different types of management concept. Among them, I have chosen the most important one that is managing change. Let us look into my topic. We should first discussing about what is management. So, the term management has been used in different senses. Sometimes it refers to the process of planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating and controlling. At other times it is used to describe it as a function of managing people. It is also refers to as a body of knowledge, a practice and a discipline. There are some who describes management as a technique of leadership and decision making. Why? Some others have analyzed management as an economic resource, a factor of production or a system of authority. It is, it, it is difficult to give a precise definition about management. Different scholars from different disciplines view and interpret management from their own angles. So, according to F.W. Taylor, management is the art of knowing what you want to do and then seeing that it is done in the best and cheapest way. Management has different concepts. Among these concepts, I have chosen the concept managing change. So, change management is the systematic approach and application of knowledge, tools and resources to deal with change. It involves defining and adopting corporate strategies, structures, procedures and technologies to handle changes in external conditions and business environment. Change management is a systematic approach to dealing with the transition and transformation of organizational goals, process or technologies. The purpose of change management is to implement the strategies for affecting changes and controlling change and helping people to adapt to change. Change is often said to be the only constant in one's life. This statement holds true for business organization as well. External and internal factors almost always lead to changes in the way things happen. One of the most important tasks of manager is to implement these changes smoothly. We refer to this process as change. Changes in its external and internal environment consequently affect business step activities. These changes can happen either at individual level or at the organization level. Furthermore, it affects employees as well as managers. It is also basic human nature to resist changes, especially drastic ones. Since an organization's success depends on how will it adapts to change, management of the situation is crucial. This is where ma change management comes into play. Preventing changes is not always possible as they are inevitable sometimes. However, it is possible to plan for changes and overcome them. The management must always try to ensure changes happen smoothly. The organization and the members must be fine changes too drastic. Every good manager must be able to anticipate predictable changes. Apart from that, he should also be able to smoothly incorporate these changes into the organization. This is basically the entire aim of change management. Change is always inevitable. One can never completely prevent it. Managers can either wait for changes to occur or they can anticipate them and act in advance. A good manager will always do the later. This process generally requires a true understanding of factors that affect changes. This is because external and internal factors are solely responsible for affecting changes. Discussing about the cause of change. Changes affecting an organization are basically the result of its environment. Both external as well as internal factors play a huge role here. Hence, manager need to understand all types of changes. So, there are 
external factors and internal factors external factors these factors always lies outside an organization neither the organization itself nor its members are responsible for them however they always feel the effect of these factors some of these factors include first one is economic factors access to resources market demand competition inflation interest rate etc next is technology the growth of technology always focus on organization to adapt for example the discovery of new production method next is politics policies of government change in times even the government itself changes every term these factors play a large role in the external environment others other factors are factors like uh, urbanization education cultural change change in social mindset etc internal factors sometimes changes can also occur internally an organization and its own members are responsible for these changes for example the top management of a company might decide to diversify its business this decision will lead to several changes in this the company's functions similarly others internal factors include one is changes in personnel due to hiring termination of employment retirement promotion etc next changes of functional policy decision like holidays work hours paid leaves etc next is changes affecting physical facilities like usage of alternate raw materials or adaptation of new machinery etc next is type of organization change change management can be used to manage many types of organization change three most common types are the following one is developmental change any organization change that improves on previously established processes and procedures next is transitional change that is change that moves an organization away from its current state to a new state to solve a problem such as implementation a merger and acquisition or automating a task or process next is transformational change change that radically and fundamentally alter the culture and operation of an organization in transformational change the end result might not be known for example a company may pursue entirely different products or markets discussing about the benefits of change management so change management helps the organization to mitigate disruption reduce cost reduce time to implementation improves leadership skills drives innovation and improves morale so these are the benefits of the change management companies developing a change management program from the ground up often face daunting challenges in addition to a true understanding of company's culture the change management process requires an accurate accounting of the systems applications and employees to be affected by a change so additional change management challenges includes one is resource management so managing the physical financial human information and intangible assets and resources that contribute to an organizational strategic plan becomes increasingly difficult when implementing change next is resistance the executives and employees are most affected by a change may resist it since change may result in unwanted extra work ongoing resistance is common transparency training planning and patience can help cure resistance and improve overall morale next is communication communication means companies often fails to consistently communicate change initiatives or include employees in the process change related communication requires an adequate number of messages uh, the involvement of enough stakeholders to get the message out on multiple communication channels next is new technology the application of new technologies can disrupt an employee's entire workflow companies can improve adoption of new technology by creating a network of early earnings who champion the new technology to colleges
Next point, multiple points of view. Here, in any change initiatives, success factors differ for people based on their roles in the organization and incentives. Managing these various priorities is challenging. Next is scheduling issues. Deciding whether a change program will be long or short or term are clearly defining milestone deadlines are complicated. Some organizations believe that shorter change programs are most effective. Others believe a more gradual approach to change reduces resistance and errors. Discussing about the importance and effects of change management. As a conceptual business framework for people, process and the organization, change management increases the success of critical projects and improves a company's ability to adapt quickly. Business change is constant and inevitable and when poorly managed, it has the potential to cause organization stress as well as unnecessary and costly rework. By standardizing the consistency and efficiency of assigned work, change management assures that the people side of an organization is not overlooked. As changes to work occur, change management helps employees understand their new role and build a more process-driven culture. Change management also encourages future company growth by enabling it to remain dynamic in the marketplace. Change management is a critical process for any organization. Employees need to be prepared for changes and the change management process should be followed in order to ensure that everyone is on the same page. It all leads to one conclusion that change is never done alone. It takes the interactivity of in every aspect of an organization as well as leaders, individual contributors, tools, etc. to make change management successful. Thank you.